Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors with James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. So now on this week's show, we're headed back to open water. Here at In-Depth Outdoors, I'm gonna be honest with you, the winter has broken our ice fishing spirit. By the time this airs, we're gonna have yet again another huge snowstorm roll through, dump more snow that's not needed on the upper Midwest. All we're thinking about here at In-Depth Outdoors HQ is some of our best fishing trips from last season on open water. So that's what we're gonna to share today. It's lake trout, one of my favorite species and one of our favorite ways to do it is to cast for them. Chad Thompson, owner of Pasha Lake Cabins and I have been trying to time a show on Lake Nipigon for the giant lake trout that call that big body of water home for years. And on this episode, things finally line up where we target big lake trout in two to five foot of water. So stick around, I think you're gonna really enjoy today's show. It's Chad Thompson and I fishing lake trout here today on In-Depth Outdoors. Dress warm enough? I don't know. It's snowing in September. Well, we finally got the weather we needed or wanted. Hopefully, we finally got the trip we've always wanted. So here's the plan. We're on Lake Nipigon today, fishing with Chad Thompson, and uh, I've been fishing with you for a number of years. And over the course of that time, we've always talked about wanting to come to Lake Nipigon late fall before the season closes. Yes, it closes end of September. And that's important because uh, lake trout typically live in deeper water, 60, 80, 100 feet, and to you know, target them most of the time you're trolling, which is fun, but you know, I prefer to cast. But there is a time of year, happens to be this time of year, mm -hmm. when these lake trout will come real shallow. But what you need is a real cold snap late September before the season closes to get the water temperatures down. Well, this year things kind of finally lined up where we've got just some real cold weather and water temperatures yesterday were 50. This morning they're 47, which is absolutely prime perfect to put these lake trout up on real shallow reefs. And I'm talking two to six feet of water. Uh, real unusual for lake trout to be that shallow. It's gonna allow us to use lightweight, like walleye weight gear, uh, shallow diving crankbaits, you know, your shadow wraps, uh, jigging plastic, spoon spinners. Should be a lot of fun. Yeah. If those fish are up there waiting for us. It's gonna be a blast. Yeah, I mean, a preferred method of fishing for me by far is casting. When you get to a cast to a fish that's this big and fights this hard, there is nothing better on earth in the whole fishing realm. The only way it could be better is if we didn't have to drive 25 miles <laughs> to get to the first spot. So in, you better gear up because it's gonna be a little bumpy. Sounds good. Take a 
Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandel value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog, for the walleye that thinks it's a freight train, for the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo, for the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance, new advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Let's uh, let's set up and we're gonna start over here. It's a beautiful rock spine, and what does it go out, an eighth of a mile? Well, at least, yep, it stretches all the way from the tip of this island out towards the bay itself. I know it's shallow. I can see the disturbance on the surface there where the rocks must be about that far beneath the surface. Yeah, in the past when we've been down here, especially this time of year, those lake trout have been right up in one, two, three feet of water. Never experienced it before. They're always deep for me, so looking forward to it. I'll grab your rod and- Got it. We get going. Fish, Chad. Oh my word, that's a Laker. Nice. That's a Laker, gotta be. Just screaming. That was a crush job, buddy. You just changed lures too. Yeah, I put on a uh, really big X-Wrap. It's a saltwater X-Wrap, it's like a Bonita color. I don't know, it could be a Pike too. It ran really hard to start though. Laker, Laker, nice. Laker, 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 Laker. Pretty good one, ah, come on. Shouldn't get off. Got a pretty good hook on there. You are required to smash the barbs wow. up here on Lake Nipigon. Oh yeah, good nice looking fish. fish. But it looks like I got that whole hook in its, in its mouth, so. <sighs> they pull, man, they pull. <laughs> when it's time, I'll bring them to you, Chad. <laughs> Perfect, I'll just <laughs> wait right here, because I could be fishing. Because <sighs> I'm throwing a little bit bigger uh, bait here, I. Switched over to the bait caster. I'm throwing a uh, Okuma SBX swim bait rod. Just love these things. Use them for pike most of the time. Seem pretty darn appropriate for a big lake trout. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm coming back to you. <laughs> these things grow to 50 pounds on this body of water. What would you say that one is? Uh, teens, low teens? Yeah. I think that's 13, Man, 14 they pounder they right there. Something special. First fish of the day. You want to hold them up? Well, yeah. Right. Oh yeah, it's a heavier fish. Come here, you. Pretty fish. Come on, come on. Look at that. Thick, heavy fish. Probably up here uh, doing a combination of getting ready for the spawn and killing some smelt. Love it. Nice Absolutely. fish. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna run her back in the water. Don't want to keep her out too long. All right, see you later. Whoa. That was awesome. Congrats, man. We broke the ice. <laughs> Literally, yeah. this morning we were breaking ice. <laughs> True. Feels good now, though. Uh -huh. All right. All right, Chadwick. We need more. You're up. Man, I hope they're just, we, I hope we find them just piled up. I need a big spinner. I need it bad. Oh, that's a nice fish. See oh, him? is that a nice fish? Oh, big boil out there, like 30 feet. I believe in you. So what he's doing is 
throwing that spinner up on top of this really shallow rock spine. If you look over my shoulder here, there's like a little island and there's just a okay. three, four foot deep Trolling spine water. that goes way out in the lake. I'm here for you. Have you seen it? Got a good yeah. look at it yet? Yes, it's huge. Like how big? Big. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. This is it, this is it. Nope, it's not. This is just playing the angles. Oh, dig deep. Oh. God. Ah. Yes. Holy cow. That's oh. a big trout. <laughs> I got the net. Wow. You get it? I got her. All right. Oh, that's a heavy fish. Out of there. That is a heavy fish. Wow. It's a big male. Wow. See that? Look at that I think thing. he likes you. I think so. <laughs> I like him. That is a giant. That's why we came here. It's right here. Yep. That fish must have been so shallow when you set the hook, you could yep. see it swirl out there, yep. right on top of the reef. Man, yep. what a he just hit a... it the first time. I got the cast right back out there and bam. Biggest fish casting out here ever? Yeah. Yep, for sure. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna get her back in the water. Him, you say him. It is definitely a him. I think that's uh, indisputable right now. There we go. That's one of the bigger male lake trout I've ever seen. We did it. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. I need to get back up there to the bottom. My heart's racing. I'm yeah. sure yours is just pounding. Yeah. All right. That's good. Fantastic. Available in six technique specific models. The new Dead Eye Custom Series Spinning Rods from Akuma offer tournament grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT Blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Dead Eye Custom Series Rods offer an ultra responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Dead Eye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Akuma is inspired fishing. features not found on any other underwater viewing system, the Quest HD from Markham Technologies offers a vivid 7-inch widescreen display, Sony camera, and the ability to send video to a TV over HDMI in full 1080p. The Quest HD offers on-screen display of direction, temperature, and depth. This season, get your eyes below the ice and see what you've been missing on the big screen with a Quest HD underwater viewing system from Markham Technologies. Fish. Hey, Mike, a nicer. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish, James. I am so happy this finally came together, Chad. <laughs> yeah. Angered. I got a glimpse of it when I went by the boat. That a good one? It's got some shoulders on it. I haven't even seen I your guess. leader yet. <sighs> Come on. Oh. There it is. Yes! Oh, and oh. the hook is just gone. Oh. <laughs> right there. <sighs> Oh, man, what a stud. I tell you, when you talk about 64 pound lake trout, I, you never land it. You couldn't possibly even lift it up the bottom. That's a great fish. Obviously is in a hurry to get going. All right, say goodbye to the lake trout, Chad. Goodbye, catch your brother or your sister, I will. <laughs> so <laughs> fat. <laughs> All right, I'm letting it's you gonna go. It's gonna take you with it. Oh. Wow. Whew. 
So here's that shadow wrap shad. Uh, deeper body than the regular uh, shadow wrap. And that's one of my favorite walleye baits. You can work it real slow, a little twitch, small paws. It's got a real cool look to it. I just picked something out of the box that's just real natural. You know, everything we've done today has been real natural patterns, silvers, gold, brass, and some whites. I'm trying to imitate those bait fish. The, the smelt probably would be, be a pretty close imitator of a smelt. There you go, Hoss. Lost him. There he is again. <laughs> They're crazy. <laughs> that came out of what? Two foot of water? I don't. I didn't see what you cast, but I mean the boat's in six. I mean I can take the net and probably touch the bottom of the, the lake right now. Nice fish, Chad. Whoop. That wow. is a long fish. That's a very long fish. fish. <laughs> a very long fish. Here it comes. Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> oh, that guy's long. Dude, this is becoming <laughs> one of those just epic days. Yes. He's a little scarred up too. Bucket list stuff. Yeah, scarred up, but you can see where the line was wrapped around him. Yeah. He'll wear it with pride. Yep, there it goes. Good. Ooh. I hope all my hits the rest of the day are like that. <laughs> this is a pretty special deal. You don't get to catch Lakers in five feet of water very often. Oh, that's a long, long fish. I actually thought it was gonna be bigger. It's fighting so big and so heavy. That's that uh, mango shad. Got a pretty good kick to it. Fish dig it, that's a big male. And how you can tell is it's melting. Right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. You see that, James? I did not see there that, but I heard boil. it. All that right, was we're gonna fire this fish back way. and see if we can't catch that uh, fish that Chad just saw boil. Energize. There we go. That was awesome. That's a, a four inch Largo Shad and the jig is a quarter ounce boxer. Pretty good combination. What I like about that jig is it's got a really stout hook to it. The mouth on a lake trout is hard like nobody's business. You know, thin wire hook, it's pretty easy to bend those out on the hook set. All right, I'm gonna get back in the action here. Thanks for the scoop, dude. You're welcome. Where'd you say the big splash was? <laughs> Over here? In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's Spot on the Spot ID, we're headed to Lake Nipigon. The southern portion is where we have always targeted our lake trout. And we're gonna share some techniques on how to find the type of spawning habitat you're looking for at this time of the year without the aid of a good contour lake map. Now, there are some lake maps available for Lake Nipigon. In my opinion, the ones that I've seen, they're very basic to horrible. Uh, they're basically for general reference only, and they're not gonna give you the detail that you're gonna need to find lake trout holding areas. So uh, what we've got here is we've got the southern portion of Lake Nipigon. Uh, this is the general area that we target, and we're gonna zoom in here a little bit, and we're gonna show you the type of structure that we're looking for. And the great thing is you can find it using uh, Google Earth or Google Maps just using the satellite display. So you can see there's a little tiny island, a little rock outcropping that sticks above the water, and all that green there, that is a very shallow rock shoal. That is a perfect area to be looking for these lake trout, particularly if you've got a wind coming in in this general direction from the north and the east. The wave activity will break up light penetration, the fish will move up and be very active. This is an area that would definitely be on my uh, milk run of spots to hit. Same could be said for this little isolated shoal up here. Uh, it's of course surrounded by deep water. There is a large quantity of shallow water to be targeted there. There is a very small outcropping again that sticks out above the water. That's what we're looking for. Keep these approaches in mind. Uh, look for this not only on Lake Nipigon. Any place lake trout are found, the same type of presentation will work for you. So get out there on Google Earth late in the season when uh, the lake trout are coming up shallow, a satellite view can be your best friend.
For the bass that thinks it's a bulldog. For the walleye that thinks it's a freight train. For the tuna that thinks it's a torpedo. For the tarpon that thinks it's a tarpon. You need the mono that thinks it's a braid. Suffix Advance. New advanced mono with HMPE braid molecules for strength, abrasion resistance, and low stretch. Suffix Advance. The mono that thinks it's a braid. Available in six technique specific models. The new Deadeye Custom Series spinning rods from Akuma offer tournament grade performance at a price all anglers can afford. Built on SCT blank technology featuring a dual helix carbon fiber wrap, Deadeye Custom Series rods offer an ultra responsive blank that will handle the biggest walleye on your favorite bodies of water. Find the Deadeye Custom Series at your favorite sporting goods store today and see for yourself why Okuma is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry-leading five-year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. the anticipation of just knowing you're going to get hit. I just love it. It's almost like buck fever in a way. Got him. Atta boy. Right over the top of those rocks. You can just see the rocks below the yeah, surface. I, I've got to switch to a spinner because I can't uh, fish anything over the rocks. Like It's so shallow. I mean, those fish are in about two foot of water. Oh, it's a heavy fish. Got an ID on him yet? Not yet. Boy, I better get my hinder wow. back for that one. Is that a big fish? <laughs> Biggest so far? Yeah, I think so. No pressure. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a beauty. I thought you lost him. No, it got wrapped in the <laughs> fish. <laughs> I was about to start crying for you. We got him. It ain't going anywhere. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hi. I'm trying to get out of your way. Come on, Mama Sita. Oh, got her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you got enough wow. left in those arms, old man? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is heavy. <laughs> and a little mad, I would imagine. All right, this girl's spitting eggs, so I want to get her back right away. I'll get out of your way. Okay. Like a shark, just <laughs> gone. We've caught fish on just a little bit of everything today. I mean, I've had one on a Saltwater Series X wrap. Uh, Chad's had three or four on a spinner. I've had one or two on a Largo Shad, all over the place. Real natural colors, you know, for the most part, but it seems to pay to just kind of switch the baits up. Fish. Oh, that's a heavy one. You let me know when you're ready. I'm gonna try sneaking a cast. I'd love for you to double up. Nothing would make me happier. It's kind of a draw right now, Chad. What's that? Just the battle, the fight. Oh yeah? Yeah. I think it takes a while for them to realize that they're hooked by something that could actually, you know, potentially do them some harm. I just harm. had a hit. I just had a hit, James. Yeah, well, right off this little corner, I had a hit, next cast caught this fish. Looked right in the corner of the snoot. All right. This is another one of them long, thin ones, yeah. Chad. Just nice, healthy fish. And they fight like just mad. There's that shadow wrap shad. There we go. Barbless, gone. Easy. All right. That's probably, I'd say that's right in that realm of average today. Had a pretty super day on the water. It's not done yet. Back it goes. All right, thank you, fish. 
Oh, it's got a lot left. Oh, yeah. See ya. So you had two hits while I was fighting that fish? Yep. <laughs> well, that's, uh, I had the hit before I hooked that one up, so that's four hits off that one little corner. We've definitely caught some of those fish after, you know, you get a hit, bring your cast in, throw it right back, and it seems like it's just that same fish. Yep. So aggressive, they'll hit it again. Mm -hmm. Nice fish. Get him? Yep. Big Laker. He's teed off. Oh. Nice fish. Oh yeah. I love how big their heads are. Right there, right there, right there. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Well, I don't know, maybe you scared him on the hook side. <laughs> That's a nice long fish, not girthy, but extra long. Oh yeah. Built for speed, Chad. Mm -hmm. What are you tossing, James? I'm uh, throwing a shadow wrap. Just switched okay. over to a, a, a white. I'm gonna put this guy back. You stick to that spinner, that's working for you. Okay, I'm sold. You can fish it real slow at the end of the boat. They seem to like that. And away he goes. So that brings us to the end of today's show. And let me tell you, this was one of my favorite days on the water from last summer, and it will not be the last time I experience this bite. I'm already making plans to spend an entire week at the end of the open water lake trout season on Lake Nipigon to retarget these incredible fish. Anytime you can hook up with a 20 pound lake trout in three feet of water, that's a pretty special experience. So if you want more information about how to target these lake trout shallow on Lake Nipigon, be sure you look up Chad Thompson, owner of Pasha Lake Cabins. He's a really helpful guy. He's your contact for that part of the world. Now, before we go, I wanna remind everybody that next week is a very special show here at In Depth Outdoors. Uh, the Dream Trip giveaway winner, Robert Schultz from Wausau, Wisconsin, he has chosen his dream trip is to go to Lake Winnipeg to target giant greenback walleyes. So we're taking him next week for two days. We're gonna fish sunrise to sunset and see if we can't connect him with one of those greenback walleyes that have made Lake Winnipeg famous. So make sure you check out that episode. So thanks for tuning in everybody. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.